Welcome back to Tightwad Workshop. In this video we'll be making some single angle trestles, also known as saw horses. We'll start by using our protractor to mark an 80 degree angle on a piece of scrap. I've found that 80 degrees works well for 900 mm, 36 inch trestle legs. For saw horses with shorter 600 mm, 24 inch legs, I'd prefer to use 75 degrees. Use this template to set the angle on your sliding bevel, then put it somewhere safe. Next, select your first trestle leg plank and use your bevel to mark one end of it at 80 degrees. Now use your bench hook and tenon saw to cut the end. Measure 910mm from the end, then mark a second line parallel with your first cut. Repeat this process for the other three legs, making sure your cut ends are parallel. Now that we've cut out the legs, we can mark out the top. Start by measuring the width of the leg pieces. These are 95 millimetres, or 3 and 3 quarter inch, so that'll be the width of our trenches. Next, I'll mark 150mm and 245mm from the end of the board and square off the lines. Now use your sliding bevel to mark that 80 degree angle on the edges. The marks should be angled toward the end of the board, like this. Finally, use your square to continue the lines across the bottom of the board. If you've done everything right, those lines should meet each other like this. Now set your square to the thickness of one of the leg boards. Then use that setting to mark lines on the top surface of the board. It's helpful to clearly identify the top surface of the board and the waist areas at this point. Now use that same setting on your combination square to mark the end of the board. We'll now use the sliding bevel to mark an 80 degree line across the end of the board. And reset the combination square to that distance. We can now use our combination square's new depth setting to mark the bottom side of the board. Mark all of the waste areas with a squiggle. Mark the other end of the board in the same way. Next, clamp your board to the workbench with your holdfasts and saw along the outer lines. Check frequently to avoid cutting either side too deep. Sort the other side in the same way. Then make a couple of cuts between the ends to make the chisel work easier. Next, use a mallet and chisel to remove the waste. I find it's easiest to work this way across the trench, but you can use whatever method works best for you. Just take it slowly and don't cut below your lines. Finish by putting away the mallet and flattening the bottom of the trench with paring cuts from your chisel. Cut the other three trenches in the same way. Once we've cut all four of the trenches, we can fit the legs. I've intentionally cut the trenches slightly too narrow so that we can plane down the legs for a tight fit. If you start planing right at the end of the leg, you'll make a sharp angled taper which won't fit. You need to start planing further back along the leg to make a shallow angle. I'll use this peg as a planing stop. The wood shaving stops it from falling through the dog hole. 
Take a few strokes with the plane, then check the fit. If you're lucky it might fit on your first try, but it's best to sneak up on that dimension. Mark each leg and trench pair with a symbol because they'll all be slightly different from each other. Now fit the other three legs in the same way. Once you've fitted all the legs, it's time to glue and nail them in position. We need to use the matching leg for each trench. Apply some PVA glue and make sure it covers the bottom and sides of both trenches. Fit the first leg. Then drill pilot holes for the two nails and drive them in. Repeat this process for the other three legs, then stand the trestle on its end while we prepare its braces. If the offcuts from the legs are long enough to use, they'll already have the 80 degree angle sawed onto one end. Mark the top position of the other leg. Then use your bevel gauge to mark an 80 degree line across the brace. Then saw along that line with your tenon saw. Finally, I'll use the plane to cut the top edge of the brace to 80 degrees as well. This allows the brace to fit tightly underneath the trestle's top. Now we can glue, drill and nail the brace in position. Turn the trestle over and fit the second brace in the same way. Once you've fitted both braces, move the trestle against the bench, then use your plane to flatten the tops of the legs. Your trestle legs are very likely to be wobbly on a flat surface. We'll fix that by putting a piece of scrap under the high leg, then using a block of wood to mark a pencil line round each leg. Once all the legs have been marked, we can cut the tips off with our tenon saw. Start the saw cut in the short edge of the board, then slowly lower the saw down across the long edge. Once again, repeat this process for all four legs. Once you've leveled the legs, your trestle should be stable on a flat surface. As a last step, I'll try a load test on this finished trestle. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Tightwad Workshop is filmed in front of a live studio audience.